Now before we start, I want to say that this is not a dumbass anti-SJW video about women main characters in games. I know it might appear like that from the title or whatever, but I want to make that clear right now. Also, this video will have spoilers for both Odyssey, obviously, and Valhalla. So I'm in the middle of replaying Assassin's Creed Odyssey right now, and I love the game. The world is beautiful and fun to explore. Some of the side quests are actually really fun and tell small, little, interesting stories. They kind of remind me of sub-stories in Yakuza, though admittedly, a lot of the side quests are samey and blend together. Especially the side quest of run here, kill guys, or grab item. Maybe do both if the game is feeling a little quirky. Go back to quest giver. Quest complete. Now do this 200 more times. The game definitely isn't perfect and has a lot of faults, and I mean a lot of faults. But that's besides the main point. This isn't a review of Odyssey, but instead I'm going to talk about one aspect of the game. The choice of if you want to play as Alexios or Cassandra. The character you do not choose will take on the role of Deimos. So if you pick Alexios, Cassandra becomes Deimos, and if you pick Cassandra, Alexios becomes Deimos. I actually really like this idea. I think it's interesting that the two characters can be reversed, and despite having the same voice lines and dialogue options, you can still see how their personalities differ. Oh, come on, little sister. You have to tell me everything. What's happened to you? I don't have to tell you anything. I don't know you. <laughs> come on, little brother. You have to tell me everything. What's happened to you? I don't have to tell you anything. I don't know you. Rimos. Now her, I don't know. She's a demigod. Worshipped and feared by the cult and all the Greek world. Rimos. Now him, I don't know. He's a demigod. Worshipped and feared by the cult and all the Greek world. But... <laughs> no! Gods are cruel. But... No! The gods are cruel. While they say the same lines, they say them with different tones. Alexios overall, in my opinion, fits as the main character better because his voice actor makes Alexios speak with a more humorous and enthusiastic tone as the Mystios. I can't pronounce that, so for now on, I'm just going to say the mercenary. Cassandra, on the other hand, speaks more calmly and puts off a more serious vibe as the mercenary. As Deimos, Alexios sounds constantly pissed. He sounds like an entitled man-child who does what he wants when he wants. Now, I'm not saying this is bad. It does make sense given as Deimos was stolen as a baby and raised to be a monster, but I prefer how Cassandra is as Deimos. Cassandra as Deimos gives off a more under the hood psychopath. What I mean by this is that she sounds more calm and menacing instead of being angry all the time compared to Alexios. I love this about the character choice in Odyssey. Despite having the exact same dialogue, the two actors give wonderfully different performances that make the two characters feel unique. With that said, I don't like that there's actually a canon choice. Apparently, the character choice aspect was never supposed to be in Odyssey. It was planned for Cassandra to be the only playable character, with Alexios being the only Deimos. The developers were forced to add a playable male character because of Ubisoft's just terrible people higher up in the company. This didn't only affect Odyssey. There are numerous times where an Assassin's Creed game was supposed to have a female protagonist, but Ubisoft said no. These include Origins, which I have not played yet, and Valhalla. Let's talk about Valhalla for a moment. It is extremely obvious in the game that Eivor was supposed to be only female, and it shows. First of all, the name Eivor, Varen's daughter, is completely feminine. Eivor is traditionally a name given to women in Old Norse, and the last name Varen's daughter means, well, Varen's daughter. If Eivor is a man, his last name should be Varenson. There are also numerous moments that I can recall where the characters straight up call Eivor a she, even if you're playing as male Eivor. And finally, the story actually makes more sense when playing as female Eivor. I also dislike the fact there's a canon choice in this game, but in Valhalla at the very least you can see how Eivor was always meant to be female. I got my information that Cassandra was meant to be the only character from this Forbes article. First of all, let's take a quick tangent and talk about this article. Fuck off. Cassandra is not clearly the better character. Both Alexios and Cassandra are great characters and they can both work as the mercenary or as Deimos. Two thirds of players got a worse game because the choice was there. This is just 
terrible thing to say. The game is still amazing whether or not you play as Alexios or Cassandra, and to say that the game is worse and that Cassandra is clearly better is a huge disrespect to Alexios' actor. These awful statements aside, the article does make a good point. The idea that women protagonists in games don't sell is a very shallow and outdated reason to force the inclusion of a male protagonist. The fact that Ubisoft will not let the game designers have a female only game is actually, in fact, fucking stupid. Despite how awful gamers can be sometimes, I highly doubt an Assassin's Creed game, one of the most recognizable names in gaming at the moment, will sell poorly because it has a female lead. It is actually ridiculous that in the 21st century, there are still dumbass executives meddling with the devs' freedom. With that said, let's go back to what I said earlier. I don't like the fact that there is a canon choice in Odyssey, but before talking about that again, let's talk about how unlike how Valhalla actually felt that female Eivor fit better into the story, Odyssey doesn't. It doesn't feel like Cassandra was meant to be the only character. In fact, it actually feels like Alexios was meant to be the main character. While the majority of the game, it feels like it could be either one, there are two aspects of the main story that makes you take a step back when playing as Cassandra. First, I'll start with the less egregious example. Well, egregious isn't the right word, but bear with me. I'm talking about the Olympics arc in the game, which might I add real quick, was way too short and feels rushed. During this Olympics part of the story, the mercenary was tasked with escorting Sparta's champion to the Olympics. But due to shenanigans, this champion dies and the mercenary must take his place in the sport of Pancration. As Alexios, this is fine. The guy needs a replacement, so they let Alexios participate. You may be thinking, how does this make more sense for Alexios? Well, there is a side quest during the Olympics questline where a woman is almost thrown off a cliff to her death because she wanted to watch. Yep, she wanted to watch her son participate, but because she was a married woman, not is a married, she was a married woman, she was not legally allowed to watch. And this is based in truth. In ancient Greece, married women were not allowed to attend the games. Unmarried women were, however, allowed to watch, but only so they can find a man to get with. So what? Cassandra isn't married. Why bring this up? Well, as I said, the woman that was caught watching her son was going to be killed. This side quest is not about letting the woman watch. It's about proving she was watching her son compete, not watching the naked men get all sweaty. When you complete the side quest, the woman isn't allowed to go and watch her son. You just saved your life. She is still legally not allowed to watch the games. At the Olympics, women were not allowed to complete in the Pancration. This means that Cassandra would not be allowed to replace the old champion. I just realized I never wrote down the champion's name. It's Testicles. Yes, like the balls. This itself is not the problem. There could have been some part of the story where Cassandra has to deal with discrimination. I'm just saying, there is something that could have been done here. But nope, all we get is a, this is unprecedented. And that's it. And that's not even exclusive to Cassandra. He says the same thing when playing as Alexios. What's my point here? Well, the questline should have been about finding a new champion to compete, not making the mercenary compete. This part of the story feels weird when playing as Cassandra. The biggest issue with playing as Cassandra is that she really shouldn't have gotten the Spear of Leonidas at all. In Sparta, women were not allowed to be in the military at all. While women in Sparta had more rights than women anywhere else in the Greek world, they still would not be training like the Spartan males would be. One thing I've seen mentioned is that while this is true, the mercenary is not trained to be in the military, but is simply being trained in the family. This does not make the point of women not being trained go away. In fact, it only reinforces it. We see in the game that Nikolaos and Marini are both really into Spartan customs. This is why Nikolaos throws the future of Mystios off the mountain after all. Even Marini, who left Sparta after this, still firmly believes in Spartan customs. There is one point in the game where you and Marini return to Sparta and you see two guys getting attacked by wolves. Marini, despite all she has been through, still tells you not to interfere because it is Sparta and if the guys live, Sparta will be weaker as a whole. If you do decide to save them, she will scold you and tell you that Sparta is now weaker. So why would Nikolaos and Marini suddenly be totally on board with training their daughter when it goes against Spartan customs? Marini could be argued that she's training the future mercenary because Pythagoras needs them to help steal off Atlantis. But even still, we can see that Nikolaos is there too, and we know that he definitely would not train Cassandra no matter what. But you know what I think is the worst part of having a canon choice? Everything I said before can be disregarded. I can look past the historical inaccuracies. I can look past the inconsistent writing. I mean, Pythagoras wasn't actually 150 years old and he didn't really have a staff that kept him alive. So I don't really care about historical inaccuracies. 
I just brought them up because some people do. But what I can't look past is this event in Valhalla. This crossover right here is why I'm making this video. The fact that there is no Alexios version shows that they don't care. They don't care that you spent hundreds of hours with Alexios instead of Cassandra. They don't care that because you chose Alexios, it makes no sense to see Cassandra here. Well, Cassandra is canon. That's why there is no Alexios. But who cares? That's what makes this crossover suck. You're not happy to see Cassandra here because, wow, this adds so much to the lore. I can't wait to see how this will affect canon. You are excited to see the character you played as. You're excited to see the character you previously became attached to meet the character you're in the middle of a journey with right now. What is canon here does not matter. What matters is that they do not care about your choice. And that's the problem. It's your choice. There really shouldn't be a canon option. The game should have looked for Odyssey save data to see if you picked Alexios or Cassandra and choose that one. But despite the fact that Odyssey and Valhalla are both filled with choices, they don't care. So while some people may see Cassandra and get excited, which is the intention, most will see her and go, wow, there's Deimos. Sure sucks I picked the wrong character, I guess. And that's what bothers me. The complete disregard for your choice because you didn't pick the right character. I already acknowledged how Cassandra was meant to be the only playable character. It sucks they were forced to add Alexios. They shouldn't have to have added a playable male character just to keep their intended female character. But Alexios exists and is a playable option. Don't disregard everyone who chose Alexios because it's not canon. I also want to real quick talk about how it's a game, don't take it seriously. I know. Despite how it may seem, I'm not angry. It just sucks when you're told you picked the wrong character. In the end, please just stick to one character in the future. It's clear the devs really want a solo female lead, which again, there's nothing wrong with, but then they're forced to add a choice between the right option and the wrong option. It's like when people complain there is forced diversity, except this time it really is forced, forced to add the male character. 